The U.S. Embassy is opening in Cuba, and in a coincidence of timing, August 16th is also National Rum Day. So we're taking that as an excuse to brush up on our daiquiri-making skills. Here with a quick, fun history lesson on the daiquiri is Bacardi Senior Portfolio Manager Colin Apia and Julio Cabrera, a Cuban maestro cantinero and managing partner at the Regent Cocktail Club in Miami. Welcome, gentlemen. So Thank much fun so to much have you. Thank you so much for having us. Colin, if you would, give yeah. us a little history of the daiquiri. Oh, the daiquiri is a, a classic. It's been around for over 100 years. And it was started by a gentleman named as Jennings Cox. In the late 1800s, he created the classic blend of uh, Bacardi Superior rum, fresh lime, and a little bit of simple syrup. Uh, which we still know and love today. We still make it that way. And Bacardi is originally a Cuban rum, right? Correct. It mm. was the start of the Cuban um, rum renaissance. Right. Actually, in 1862, uh, Don B uh, Facundo Bacardi, he made Bacardi Superior, which we all drink today still. A and Julio, how does one become a maestro cantinero? It's, uh, it's a lot of years of working and studying. And actually, in Cuba, to become a cantinero, you have to go to school first for a couple of years to learn by heart more than 100 cocktails. And it's a profession for life. You have to go to school, you have to learn, you have to speak uh, different languages. So it's a profession for life. And you know, Cuba's been in the news so much lately. Mm -hmm. We know how, how popular the mojito is in Cuba. Is the daiquiri just as popular there? Yes, the daiquiri is huge, mostly at Florida. They make it frozen the same way uh, Constante, uh, Hemingway uh, bartender used to make it. Yes. Frozen with a little bit of maraschino. But daiquiri is very popular and also mojito. It's two classic cocktails, you know, our legacy. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. When you look at the Cuban cocktail yeah. legacy. So tell us about the daiquiri that you you enjoy making? Oh, the daiquiri that I enjoy making is the Hemingway daiquiri. We absolutely. both absolutely love making the mm -hmm. Hemingway daiquiri. The Hemingway daiquiri actually came about because Constantino, he realized that uh, Hemingway was a diabetic, so he took the sugar out. And Hemingway, uh -huh. of course, as we all know, loved his daiquiris. And he so loved Cuba. <laughs> he loved Cuba. And he consumed a lot of uh, Bacardi rum at uh, Floridita. So and those in every day. Exactly. Yeah. So he added um, a little bit of maschino uh, liqueur instead of the sugar mm -hmm. and a little bit of grapefruit just to give it another layer of uh, flavor. And you, gentle you gentlemen did this for us. Let's take a look at how you actually make one of these amazing oh, yeah. daiquiris. We start with a little bit of uh, fresh lime juice. Mm -hmm. And just add it to the tin, and then just a little teaspoon of the maraschino uh, liqueur, fresh grapefruit, uh, which you always have to have. And then of course, we have the Bacardi Grand Reserva Maestro de Rom, which we add uh, to, the, to the cocktail there. Now, the Maestro de Rom is the new. Um, the new rum that has been released by Bacardi. Ah, to, uh, is that uh, here? You brought it with you. Yeah, yes. we brought it with us mm -hmm. to commemorate. And it's the super premium. Yes, yeah, the new super premium uh, rum. And uh, Julio, how popular is the daiquiri in Miami among the uh, fashion it's, set? It's very popular right now. Daiquiri uh, has become one of the most popular cocktail in in United States, but not for the frozen one. The, you know, the hand shaking, right. hand shaking, the original daiquiri, the one who was created more than 120 years ago. Which is the master piece you've yeah. created for us. Shall we give it a, a taste? Yeah, of course. Give yeah, it a little taste. That shaker there. This one is the Hemingway Daiquiri. The yep. Hemingway, and of course. It's our favorite. <laughs> <laughs> also and, known. And here, the Maestro de Rome was actually created to commemorate all of the Maestro de Rome's who have kept the legacy of uh, Don Facundo Bacardi alive with uh, the way and the process that Bacardi has been made. It's right. been made the same way for over the last 150 years. Can you this, tell us a little bit about the process? Yes, it's a parallel, it's a parallel process. You use two mm -hmm. styles of rum, mm -hmm. which we age. Every single drop of Bacardi Thank is you aged. Thank so much. A lot of people are not aware of that. It's aged for a minimum of at least a year for the Maestro de Ron. And then, thank you very much, sir. All right. And then we re-age it again after we blend them uh, together. Lovely. Yeah. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Ah, Salud. This is a beautiful Cheers. thing. Cheers. Congratulations. So Salud. much. Yes. Cheers. Great day, Whoa, right? For oh, the new relationship. Ooh. That's right. Thank you very much. Mm. 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 That is exquisite. Gentlemen, thank you so much beautiful. for sharing the stackery with us today. Thank you.